So today, you know, what's on our agenda is we are going to do a cattle panel storage hoop house. So we don't have any other buildings out here to store stuff in. We need a place to put our tools. So this is going to be our tool storage for now. And um, I'll show you what we're going to do. We're trying to stay out of the way of what will be the house and other structures that are going to be on here. So the house is, is going to be going in this position right over here. Um, out from about, oh, in here somewhere back to by the by the uh, uh, fifth wheel back there. So we don't want to be right there. We don't want to be too close to it, but we want to be close enough that we can access tools and stuff all the time. So I'm thinking right here is going to be a good place. We'll still have room to work around there and everything else. So we're going to go right here. So we've gone ahead and cut two different kits for the side walls. Um, we got two by four pressure treated lumber that's going to go on the on the bottom and then there's shorter pieces that will be the supports in the middle and longer regular two by fours that'll go on the top so each one of these are exactly the same we're going to throw those together we'll have our two three foot sidewalls all put together With the side walls done, we need to start working on the end walls. Uh, we have 12 foot pieces of wood for the end walls, but because the side walls are three and a half inches wide, we need to cut uh, seven inches off of those, uh, those end wall pieces. We'll bring it to 11 foot five inches. Well, folks, we've got both the side walls done and the back and front walls are done now too. Next, we're gonna lay out the weed barrier, use some staples to tack it down, and then set up and attach the walls. And that'll be it for the day. Beautiful, beautiful day. <laughs> beautiful day in the neighborhood. Good to be out here today. Definitely. We hope they'll all be this way. Which... Oh my goodness, could you imagine working an office job on a day <laughs> like today? You're stuck inside, staring longingly out the window, this beautiful blue sky. You get to be out here in it, living it, playing in the dirt. That's right, playing in the dirt. It was nice. <laughs> Building stuff. Yeah, awesome. All right, let's get this thing put up. We're excited. Let's do it. So I forgot a step. Um, I was thinking we're gonna just go ahead and throw those cattle panels on, but first we need to secure it down to the ground, make sure these are lined up good and straight. And we're gonna use these, they're not actually T posts, they're really U posts, um, but they have holes in them. So we can drill through those. I got some washers to put up against them as well. And we'll drip, pound this in drill it on to the the corners and a couple places in between as well and secure it all up and then we'll be able to put those cattle down. My name is Brady, and I'm here to say <laughs> that I can't. Came, wrap. I came to wrap it a homesteading way. <laughs> well, that is day one of putting together the hoop house storage unit. Welcome to day two of putting up the hoop house. Woohoo! We're back. We've already got on the job. 
forgot to do the intro for the morning. <laughs> they don't know but that. That's okay. We just had three T posts to pound in, and Brady pounded those in like a champ. So he told me I could do the last one. I said, "Well, we do want to get done today, don't we?" <laughs> so <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. So we got the T posts there. Well, that's all in. We just have to screw them with those last three in, and then we're gonna start putting on the cattle panels. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the first cattle panel and just set it up and tack it in place so that we see our our hoop dimensions because we're not exact we weren't exact as to what that was going to be. Took looked at some things online, but you know, so we knew approximately what it'd be. We knew these would be a little tall, but we're uh, we're what we're gonna do is We'll mark it then. Once we get our, our hoop the way we want it, we'll mark on these boards where that the, the top of the cattle panels will be. And we can cut those off then. And sit, then when the hoop goes over the top of it, we can secure those down. And uh, we may even have to adjust the height of, of our doorway, which is okay. We got some space there. You saw Brady going through it. He still had, I don't know, four or five inches or something like that. So we got some space. So let's check that out. So the way we're going to attach the hoop house onto our rails here is with these uh, fence staples. And so we'll take this paddle, panel and we'll bend it up. And the end of the panel here will be sitting along the edge here. And then we'll use these staples to staple that down and hold hold it in place. So when we're first doing this here, we're just gonna put a couple of these in just to hold it in place while we get our measurements and all for that doorway. I'm bummed. <laughs> We're just tacking the top of this up. And this is all perfect. It looks beautiful. Angle was cut perfectly. Um, the hoop rides on it perfectly. But when I'm up there, I suddenly realized I forgot something in, in order to finish this hoop house. We can't put the plastic on until we have some foam tubing um, that you can cut and then put around the edges of this so that you don't because these these are sharp edges right here and then plus where the wood is I mean it's a little bit sharp but mainly along these edges here it's sharp if we put that greenhouse plastic on now without that protection of the of a foam padding along here it's just going to tear so we can't do that. We can go ahead and finish the hoop house other than the greenhouse, or other than the greenhouse plastic, and then we're gonna have to hold off, finish it off until later, until we get the get that foam. We can't just run to a store real quickly and grab some? Yeah, I'll just run over, run over to the Home Depot. <laughs> well, we could run. Depending upon how quickly we the sound, I guess we could run over to Delta, which is an hour away, and get some. That, st that stinks, but mm -hmm. we could do that. Well, maybe we will. We'll have to see what to happens. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how it goes today. Well, we're down to the last uh, um, hoop, the last cattle panel to put up, and 
we're going to have to modify that cattle panel because it's it's longer than needs to be. If every cattle panel was exactly 50 inches like it says it's supposed to be, it would have been perfect. This is a 25, 25 foot long um, hoop house and so it would fit perfectly, but of course they're not. They're like a 3 sixteenths of an inch longer, wider I should say, than what it's supposed to be. They're supposed to be 50 inches by 16 feet. So it in order to make this fit, we're going to cut the end uh, piece of wire off and or to tuck it in and make it make it fit properly. So not something we're looking forward to, but it's got to be done. So Brady came up with the idea to cut these ends off and then it would allow us to be able to just tuck the metal up underneath here. So we wouldn't have a, you know, that's just tucked underneath. That's going to be, that's tucked, well, almost. Let's see if I can get those tucked up there too. Oh, we're running into this. Here. There we go. There we go. That's it. And now we've got a nice clean connection here. We can adjust down here to the, down I'm having to hold the mm -hmm. cattle panel at the same time, but we can just adjust this to the right length, which it almost is right now. And that will be perfect. Oh. Then we can just tighten up or tack down the the top of the cattle panels there too, and we'll be good. Well, I think we should run to the quick shop and get a drink. Yeah, that'd be nice. <laughs> Run the run the Maverick real quick and <laughs> grab something. No, we actually we act, we probably will, but the reason is because we're now going to run into town to get some stuff that we forgot. Like I said, got to get the foam tubing for the edges and twist ties to put the cattle panels together. Or yep. Zip ties. Zip ties. Twist to... ties. <laughs> Little bread twist ties. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so we can zip tie these together so they're all staying in the same form. And uh, that better be it. <laughs> well, if it's not, we better remember before we get there. Yeah, so quick run to Delta. We'll be back in just a minute. We made it back from Delta. We got our pool noodles. We're ready to put them around the edges of the hoop house to keep them from breaking the, the greenhouse plastic. And we're going to get at it. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I don't think, uh, or I don't think those pool noodles will will allow you to float, Brady. <laughs> you got enough of them. I think they will. <laughs> I think you might need about fifty of them around you. Only one way to find out. So, not pool noodles. These are pipe insulation. Yeah, they're split on one side. We can wrap that around the the uh, uh, cattle panel ends to protect it from the when we put the greenhouse plastic. It'll protect the greenhouse plastic from being, being torn. I already said that. I couldn't tell because I was trying to get out from behind you. He was messing and around. <laughs> I was messing around. Anyway, so we're doing that. And did you mention what else we're doing? No. Nope. Zip tying the cattle panels. Well, we got to zip tie these on. But then we got to zip tie the cattle panels together in position so they're all flush and even and all that too. So that's the next step. I will push you in the mud again. <laughs> As you can see, the sidewalls here of the hoop house are bowing out slightly. And when we wrap it in the greenhouse film, we want to have it be 
uh, the shape it's supposed to be <laughs> uh, so that we can properly tighten the, the greenhouse wrap on it and everything. So what we're going to do is doctor together some two by fours to act as a brace that we're then going to attach across the middle of the hoop house and use that to pull the walls in until they're where they're supposed to be. And then we can wrap it. It, if we, this was a permanent structure, we would have gone ahead and, and put holes in the ground, put four by fours down, cement them in, you know, so everything would stay straight. But this is not a permanent structure. Uh, I fully anticipate this will be moved at some point or completely dismantled at some point. So we just use the T-posts. Well, the T-posts aren't strong enough to hold it. And uh, so, yeah, by supporting it in the middle right now, we can get everything set up and then we're going to put supports from the outside to hold it so we won't have to have those supports in the middle of the green hoop house at that time. Perfect. Take a look inside the hoop house. Woohoo! Look at that! Look at that. It's a structure, and you can totally tell. I need a door to just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, I thought we were going to do more, but the sun is setting. Yeah. And we just have the flat. Well, no, we got to do a little more framing next. And in here, we've got framing to do here and here and, and a little down bit there. down at the other end. <clears throat> and so <clears throat> we got to do that before we can actually put the, the plastic on. But we're close. Pretty excited. Looks good. It's going to be a perfect storage room. Being the brilliant people that we are, uh, when securing the sides of the hoop house, making sure they were straight for when we wrap in the greenhouse film, uh, we used this wood to help pull the, the sides in together. Unfortunately, that's the wood that we need to finish framing with uh, so we can finish the front and back walls. So we gotta get that off now. Luckily, we have a bunch of scrap wood that we gathered before, and so we're gonna put some of that scrap wood on so we can take our good framing wood off, and we'll be all right from there. We're brilliant, yes. <laughs> Always thinking ahead. Which is why you'll notice <laughs> we can't get that ladder back. <laughs> but now we can. Yes, now we can. <laughs> Now we want to put in some supports here uh, just to add extra support to the hoop. Um, so we're going to put a cross piece here and probably one piece here just to support that cross piece. So pretty simple. We'll do that on both sides here as well as down at the other end. And then we'll be done. Well, we still got big news. We'll show you in a second. We got a window.
Okay, we got uh, our framing done. All four spots. Secure all that up, the hoop and everything. Now, we got a window. Stopped at the Habitat Restore and found a used window that would be perfect. I was keeping my fingers crossed when we came back thinking that better fit because it was we left a four foot opening and there's a four by four window and you know how that goes sometimes it's a little off but uh we tested it when we got here fits perfectly so we're going to put it up determine where we put our top board up there I'm not going to worry about doing a header in this although i guess that will kind of act as a header but we're not going to do a structural header on there put in the top support piece and install the window, we'll have a good window. Guess what? <laughs> the window is in and we are framed and really ready to put plastic on but it is too windy out right now to put plastic on we're hoping it'll die down this evening uh, as dust comes and we can put it up right then but for now it is framed ready to go actually we still can go ahead and make the doorway for it maybe we'll do that and get that all set uh, and then once the wind's a when will be amenable for our putting it on, we'll go ahead and put on the plastic. So I got these straps, batten straps that we can use to help hold down the greenhouse plastic over the top of the hoops. So I think probably in three places, maybe four. We're going to take this over the top, double it up on the bottom, put a washer with a screw through it and screw it onto our frame to hold it in place. I don't know if you guys heard that, but there was about eight seconds of thunder right there from off yonder in the mountains. You can see that they're getting rain out there. Fantastic. Love that. But down here, we've got the batten straps on. We've battened down the hatches. We have a recharged battery. 
Ooh, so we can go back to stapling. On Saturday, when we were putting the plastic on, we got into a bit of a rush because we were getting rained on. It looked like we were gonna have a storm blowing here. Wind was blowing pretty good. Yeah, and it looked like we we're gonna have a bigger storm come in. And so we wanted to get the plastic secured as quickly as possible um, so that it wouldn't be whipped around by the storm, wouldn't get torn up or anything. And so we didn't do our very best job. Uh, which means that we're going to take this off, not the whole thing, just the, the furring strips up here and on the inside here holding the plastic and everything. We're going to take those off, fix up the, the plastic a little bit, and then stick it back on before we continue with the rest of it. Get the door done. Now, you probably need the pry bar. check it out closes got a little handle here look at that very nice handle latch boom just get a little rattling so not flapping much so in the wind should be good awesome <laughs> Ba 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 Putting, we're getting the supports ready to go up to uh, keep the sides in so we can pull these little, check this out, the handle, boom, uh, so we can pull these support beams out and start loading stuff up in here. All right, I'll show you what we did to finish it, but real quick, look at that. <laughs> it's a beautiful night. That's not bad. Ah! But to finish it up, we added these little struts right here to help brace the edges, keep the sides straight and from bowing out. They are screwed onto the sides there, of course, and then screwed onto these stakes on the ground. So now we have a nice straight edge down the, down 
the side. Oh yeah, look at that. And no more supports inside. So you can actually go inside now. Show us inside. Come on. Come on. We haven't duded it all up yet, but put a couple of tables in here. Just show you kind of the idea. I to Give you some scale. Storage space. Yep. That's awesome. Yeah. I'm super stoked that we yeah. actually built and finished something out here. <laughs> so Instead of digging a ditch ditch and dropping a tank in it and that's it it's not hooked up to anything septic's not working we've got a spigot for our well can't pump water out of it right now yeah. got a hole with a frame around it that's not done but this so hopefully this is the first completed project here on the home first pretty stoked Side's looking great too. Some, on it. some might say this side looks even better. Yeah, I'd say the other side does. You'll yeah. notice that, that these stakes are sunk so much deeper and more securely into the ground. Doors on, looking good. So guys, thank goodness it's done. So we definitely are. This is a good step forward. Thanks for coming. Like, share, subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff. And we'll see you next time on Castle Farms Homestead. That's right.